Hi everybody, this is Joe with Joe's Premium Firewood, bringing you another fun-filled, exciting video. Today's video, I'm, at, I'm back at my honey hole, and uh, the King of Firewood and his brother-in-law, Tony, aka Uncle Tony to my niece, are out here producing some oak firewood for one of his customers. I let him borrow the, uh, the Husky Splitter. Here's Tony, so... Tony's in there, he's running the splitter, and while well, the king cut, using his 460, must be smoke break time for Tony. I gave him a, a JPF t-shirt. He said he was short on t-shirts. So I gave him one I'd hardly ever wear. But the lady that he, that he was just gonna take her two truckloads, now she wants six. They've already taken her two. Yeah, when that hit the ground, it got buried in that dirt. Yeah, I want to show you something else while these guys are working. Like I say, we're, they're splitting right into the king's truck here. See what he's got on his bumper. Thou shall not tailgate. If he wanted to take down some uh, standing dead trees, he said he could go ahead and do that too. I'm going to show you one here in a second. It's huge. customer said we could have <clears throat> take you over here no you've seen this on Friday's video but I didn't notice it at the time but you've seen that one I told my brother I'd buy that one off he, he blocks it up and brings it to me but right there about a 90 foot tall standing dead ash tree and it's probably three foot diameter at the trunk, at the base. So my brother talked to Herb today. He said he'd pay Herb to drop it. Cause he don't, he's not sure which way it's going. And obviously you've seen him drop trees before. We don't want anything to happen to him. So he doesn't feel comfortable doing it. But he said he'd throw Herb some money to come out here and drop a couple of them for him.
how loose that chain is. It's hanging down about a half inch. And I don't think they're going to let anything go to waste out here. Today's Sunday, you guys just got done watching the live stream, but this will be your Monday video. Sometimes you got to run it down a little bit farther. That's There you go. I guess he, I guess he wants some kidney too. footage. I'm going to take you up to the tennis courts. And let's go look, do a little walk up there, see, what's, see what we got up there. But obviously, he wants all this stuff in the yard done, cl cleaned up first. A bunch over there, and then way up there too. But up at his tennis courts up here, there's some wood. Hop in here, go for a oh, 200 yard road trip, and get back on the. And then I'm gonna head out of here. Let me uh, lock myself in here. Uh, it takes two hands sometimes. Come on, gotta grab the right thing. There we go. So, got that on. But oh, and I, on the delivery today, I, I, the guy sent me a text. And I didn't see it, but where I how I delivered to him last time, um, he uh, I drove through this this yard to his drove through a yard to his house, and uh, so I started to drive through the yard, and he comes running at me, and I'm like, what the hell's going on? And then the, then this guy, another guy out there, I didn't know who it was. He was running a wheelbarrow. He starts freaking out. I guess it was that guy's yard and he didn't want he didn't want anybody in it he's one of the he's one of them folks that just is like real particular about their property you know and uh i'm just apologizing and saying i'm sorry and I wasn't doing donuts or nothing i was just driving through his yard like i did last time but you know the property owner or my customer sent me a text while i was driving i don't text and drive so i didn't see it so all right, guys, why don't you take a gander at this? Look what we got on the ground here. There's a silver maple right there. And here's another oak top. Let's see where the skitter's been going through here. Now this isn't, this is a little bit softer ground, softer ground than, uh, than over in the yard there. So it's gonna have to be dry because the king only has a, uh, two-wheel drive we we'll check check a look check this mess out all almost all oak in there but you know it, it comes to a point and th I mean that's a white oak top red oak but but it's starting to deal with stuff like this you know this one up here this one up front here shouldn't be too bad but you know dealing with all that brush in there screw that you need to have them dragged out with a skitter so we can work on it. But it's just a massive pile here. There is, there is more hickory in here though, I see. 
That's a huge one. Look at that hickory top. Right, that's hickory. And there, oh, and look, it took out that oak tree, but there's just a massive pile of wood right here. Can you see that, folks? So then back in here, now, now this is something I like. I, I, I probably could get to it. N nice dead dry oak here. Now this hickory, that looks too rotted. There's an ash tree right there that got taken out. There's another pile right over there. And back there, you see that? I don't know how far back this goes. I'll just go a little bit farther back up into here. But this is what I'm normally dealing with. When, you, Like I said, when you drop them in a yard and they're spaced out, like how, where they're working at right now, it's not bad. But uh, when you deal, you kind of have to come into three or four tops all piled on top of each other, it becomes more work than it's worth, in my opinion. And I don't know if I can make it through here, but there's more dry trees in here. You can see that one right there. This oak tree, and it's, uh, it's solid. You know, tell me that's not dry. It's perfect, solid. This is the stuff I want. I don't like dealing with messes like that. Although, if I ever need hickory, I know where to come because that's a hickory top right there. And I'd have to get that oak that's solid. This is the other standing dead dry one right here. That's perfect. Nice and solid. And this is hickory. And then it looks like there's a white oak top in there. Look at that pile. But like, like I said, this is the stuff I want right here. But this is, this is like years, <laughs> I mean, years of cleanup. But look how perfect this oak is. It looks like white oak too. It's nice and solid and dry. Well, I'll just go a little bit further. It looks like it goes way back through here. There's piles everywhere. That's a huge white oak top. There's a silver maple right there. But that's a lot of work. This is a lot of work, but man, there's a lot of hickory in here. Holy crap. But the bad thing about hickory, it doesn't last long on the ground. Compared to oak, it probably last 20 years. Like, look at this nice standing dead dry one. Perfect. And look, look, this goes way back there. I'm not gonna walk all the way back there, but there's a pile back there. Just a ton back there. I don't know, is that the skitter? Oh, geez, it's just, it goes on forever. There's a pile there, there's a pile there. I mean, this is damn near like my neighbors. Now, now this, this is pretty muddy, but this oak is perfect. Not too big. Not too big, yeah, look at all that. And then a nice white oak top over here. But then again, it's all piled on top of each other. But this is a pretty good size. Looks like it, like they took out a cherry too is in that mix. Look at this pile though. All this firewood. It's gonna last for years. Oh, and look over there. Those might be logs, or maybe they're more tops, I don't know. It's all through this woods, just everywhere. But it's not gonna be easy. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it, right? So look at this. There's, I see another dead dry one in there. I don't know, that, that almost looks like elm. Not sure what that is. Could be oak, I don't know. Let's just see when I cut into it. But we got lots of work down in the yard. And like I say, that's what he wants done first. But look at that white oak and this pile right here. And, and we this, this we could back right up to. We could 
This, there's a anybody need any cherry? There's a cherry, nice cherry log right there. Not good for logging, but good for firewood. So I'm glad I just knocked out my Monday video. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you at the next one.